Welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Old Granddad 114, but before I get into this whiskey, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Old Granddad is a product of Beam Centauri. This Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey was created by Colonel R.B. Hayden. R.B. Hayden chose to honor his grandfather, Basil Hayden, when naming the brand Old Granddad. The Old Granddad lineup consists of three offerings, Old Granddad, Old Granddad Bonded, and the Old Granddad 114, which I will be reviewing today. This Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey consists of a high rye mash bill. The mash bill is 63% corn, 27% rye, and 10% malted barley. This is a non-age stated whiskey. The ABV is 57% at 114 proof, the MSRP of around 25 to 30 bucks. Let's check out the bottle for a second. The bottling on this one is a little bit different and unique, just due in part to the fact of the shape of the bottle. It has an oversized neck. The cork is oversized, it is synthetic. It says 114 on the top of the cork. On the front label, right here, it also says 114, that is Basil Hayden, you see right there on the front label. There is a little seal here also on the, on the bottle. It also says 114 in it. And on the back label, it will tell you what lot this actual specific bottle came from. Pretty cool bottling, really. Kind of simple, but the shape definitely sets it apart from other bottles. With that being said, we'll get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, let's check out the color. The color on this one is a nice deep copper mahogany tint to the whiskey. See how it sticks to the glass? Check the viscosity. It does seem to be fairly oily, clinging to the glass fairly well. Got nice thick legs on the whiskey. Nice viscosity, nice color of the whiskey. Let's get into the nose. Right away, I'm getting a nice caramel brown sugar. A little bit of cinnamon. Maybe some orange peel or citrus zest. And it does have a floral sense to it also. Typically on your high rye bourbons or high rye mash bills, I, I definitely get a floral sense to the nose of the whiskey. A nice soft, subtle oak note. But what's really standing out is a rich caramel and brown sugar and some spiciness from the rye. And a little bit of cinnamon. The cinnamon's starting to, to arise in the nose also. I would definitely say the prevalent nosing is caramel, brown sugar, and cinnamon with some floral essence to it and a little bit of a soft, subtle oak note. There might be even a little bit of vanilla creeping around in there. Nice nose on the whiskey. It does seem kind of rich and dense on the nose. Once again on the nose, you're getting a nice, rich caramel brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of an orange peel and a floral sense to it also with a nice soft subtle oak note and a little bit of spiciness from the rye or a black pepper sense to the nose let's get into the taste cheers mm. very oily mouth coating viscous whiskey finish is still going on the front of the palate a little caramel brown sugar maybe even a little bit of vanilla mid palate a clove baking spice note and it's finishing off in a nice cinnamon subtle oak note very nice first sip it's going for a second cheers Very, once again, can't stress enough, 
how oily and viscous this is. It is coating the glass very well. You guys can see that. Very oily, viscous whiskey. Front of the palate, tons of caramel, brown sugar. Mid palate, clove, baking spices. And it's finishing off in a nice cinnamon, soft, subtle oak note. A little vanilla also kind of getting drugged through the mid palate and into the finish. Very nice second sip. It's going for a third. Cheers. Very consistent whiskey. Tons of caramel brown sugar. Front of the palate. Mid palate. Maybe even on the third sip, a little bit of citrus zest. Baking spices, clove mid palate. With vanilla getting drugged through the mid palate into the finish. And it's finishing off with a nice cinnamon, soft, subtle oak note. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. It is 114 proof. See if it opens up the whiskey a little bit. There we do. It seemed to make the nose a lot sweeter. There seems to be a lot more vanilla coming through on the nose. Definitely a lot more vanilla. The cinnamon note is kind of tamed down. Definitely became a lot sweeter when I added the water to it. It's going for a taste. Cheers. Yeah. Adding the water seemed to make this a lot sweeter. Um, the vanilla is definitely coming through. There's still caramel, brown sugar. The cinnamon note is dying down. Baking spice, clove, mid palate, still, still a nice, soft, subtle oak note on the finish. But the cinnamon has definitely died down. It seems to bring all the sweetness out by adding water to this whiskey. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Old Granddad 114. Guys, kind of hard not to like this one. 114 proof, $30 or under. I think I picked this one up for around 26 bucks. Great whiskey. It offers nice, dense, rich flavors. Me personally, I enjoy it more without the water. When I added water to it, it seemed overly sweet. But if you like a really sweet whiskey, I would definitely add water to this one. And I think that'd be the way you prefer to sip on it. Great whiskey, great value. That being said, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe until next time guys cheers <laughs>